everyone this is keka sham welcome back to english class children in last session we have discussed portion pattern uh, and uh, passage okay passage reading okay and seen passage story passage we have seen in last session now let us see poem passage so read the following poem carefully so we have to read the poem and we have to understand and we have to Answer the following. So let's read the poem. Let's read the poem. Honey bear. So what is the name of the poem? Honey bear, written by Elizabeth Lang. The name of the poet is Elizabeth Lang. There was a big bear who lived in a cave. His greatest love was honey. He had two pence a week, which he never could save. so he never had any money i bought him a money box red and round in which to put his money he saved and saved till he got a pound then spent it all on honey let's read once again honey bear written by elizabeth lang there was a big bear who lived in a cave his greatest love was honey he had to pence a week which he never could save so he never had any money i bought him a money box red and round in which to put his money he saved and saved till he got a pound then he then spent it all on honey so children the poem is about the bear so he liked honey very much and pence means here money okay so the bear uh, what he did he saved money uh, and when it become pound he spent all his money on honey so this is about the poem honey bear you all read the poem so let us answer the questions choose the correct answer okay and fill in the blanks so first one is big bear lived in a dash so options they have given cave then nest so where big bear lived children big bear lived in a cave so answer is cave okay next one his greatest love was dash mango honey apple what he likes to eat he likes to eat mango honey or apple so correct answer is honey so you have to write correct answer honey so his greatest love was honey next one third one the man the money box is dash and round so the poet gave the bear money box so what is the color of that box okay so blue green red so what is the color of that box children the color of the money box is red okay the money box is red and round next one fourth one the bear spent all the money on dash on what the bear spent all his money children uh, ice cream honey or juice so bear like honey very much so he spent all his money on honey okay the bear spent all the money on honey so this is about the poem passage so this is the example i have shown you same thing won't come in the exam okay so other poem other passage poem other passage story story passage will come children so you have to read it carefully and you have to understand it and you have to answer the following just this is the example in this type it will come in the exam same thing won't come in the exam so you have to read the passage carefully and you have to answer it so now next let us move towards paragraph writing paragraph writing means you will get topics so you have to choose any one topic you have to write on that whichever you know you have to choose that topic you have to write five to six line give mention lines you have to write okay so now let us see here so write a paragraph of five to six lines on any one Topic. So here, what they are asking, write a paragraph of five 
five to six lines. What here they have mentioned the lines. Okay, five to six lines of uh, paragraph. Okay, five to six lines paragraph. You have to write uh, on any one topic. So here they have given topics. My favorite game. My favorite food. My favorite teacher. So there are three topics they have given here. You have to choose any one from this, and you have to write. So I have given here my favorite teacher. So let us write a short paragraph of five to six lines on my favorite teacher. Okay, children. So I like all my teachers, but Shreya, ma'am, ma'am, I have written madam. I have written in the short form with the uh, apostrophe. Okay, children. Is my favorite teacher among all. So Shreya ma'am is my favorite teacher among all teachers. She is our class teacher. Who Shreya ma'am? She teaches us mathematics. So the subject what she uh, teach you, you have to write that also. She is very sweet and kind. So how is her nature? She is very sweet and kind. Don't describe the beauty of the teacher here. She explains everything in an easy and fun way. Okay. So what she do? She explain everything in easy and fun way. Whenever we are not able to understand anything, she patiently teaches it again and again. She is very disciplined. Punctual and sometimes strict too. She teaches us good habits and moral values. She is an ideal teacher. So children, in this way you have to write five to six lines paragraph. Okay. So here I have given you three topics. From that, anyone you have to write. So I have shown you one example. Remaining two, practice at home. Okay. So this is about paragraph. Writing. Let us move towards fill in the missing letters to form correct adjectives. So grammar part. So what is the question? Fill in the missing letters to form the correct adjectives. We have to fill this missing letters to form adjective. What is adjective, children? Adjectives are nothing but describing words. Okay, describing words describes nouns and pronouns. We have learned already. Understand? So let us read the question and understand it. Okay. One very small can mean. So they have given here uh, dash. Okay, and one letter they have given. So we have to identify. Very small can mean tiny. So you have to write T I N Y tiny. Very small can mean tiny. The color of snow is dash. H dash dash E. So how is the color of the snow, children? Yes, white. Okay. So you have to write W H I T E. So the color of snow is white. Understand? Big can mean big can mean dash dash G dash. So big can mean large. L A R G E. Large. Big can mean large. A dozen consists of dash. So in a dozen, whatever it is, uh, banana, apple, okay, mango. So in a dozen, uh, how many consists? How many quantity we have to write? So uh, twelve. T W E L V E. So a dozen consists of twelve. So these are the adjectives. Okay. In this way, you have to fill the missing letters. Now let us move towards the Next bit, underline the action verbs in the sentences below. Action verbs means what? Is, what do you mean by action verbs? Verbs means action words. Means jumping, sleeping, running. What all comes under action words? So let us see the action words and underline it. Sony obeys her mother. So what Sony is doing? She obeys her mother. So obeys is a Action verb. Okay. She likes to play. Likes is an action verb. So she likes to play. We.
fell asleep. So fell is that action word. He turned home. Turned is that action word. So children, in this way you have to underline the action words. Okay, children. So I have shown you a few examples here. Remaining all you have to practice it. Understand? Don't depend on these only. Remaining all whatever given in the exercise you have to. Uh, practice it. So this is about the par uh, passage, paragraph and grammar part. In next session we will continue with next grades. Okay. So I hope you all understood till here. Thank you.